Hey, what's up guys, it's Mario here with JunkRemoveMoney.com and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about some of the most crucial mistakes people are making when they are trying to advertise their junk removal business on Google. I do a lot of consultation calls throughout the year speaking to tons of junk removal business owners across the country. I also do a lot of website audits. So this is one of the most consistent issues I see across the board with a lot of people who start a junk removal business or have other businesses and wanna get into the junk removal space. So I'm gonna give you some examples here. You either own a junk removal business and you're trying to get into a category like dumpster rentals or demolition services. Or the other way around, you own like a maid cleaning service and you wanna offer junk removal and dumpster rental services, or maybe you own a landscaping business and you're trying to branch out into junk removal. Whatever the case is, this will apply to you if this is what you're trying to do. A lot of you guys are trying to push other services with a website that is not specific to that service. The worst thing is you're trying to do the same thing with Google My Business. Google My Business functions in a couple of different ways. One of the ways being by primary service categories and the other one is by the name of a business itself. These two things will play a big role in how the business shows up for Google search phrases such as junk removal in a specific city or demolition in a specific city. And I'm gonna show you some examples of what I'm talking about. So if we take a look at my computer screen, I've done a search for junk removal Boston, Massachusetts. And you can see here there are three businesses listed at the top of Google one of them being Junking Boston, and they're actually labeled as a garbage collection service. Number two is Junk Luggers, same thing, garbage collection service, and 1-800-GOT-JUNK, also a garbage dump service. So, if you didn't know already, Google just released an update and we now have a junk removal service primary category. If that's available to you, I would suggest utilizing that primary service category as it's specific to our industry now. This wasn't the case a few months ago, so all of us were under either garbage collection services or waste management services, which sometimes led to calls about, are we the dump? Are we a garbage collection pickup service? And that gets kind of annoying. But why I'm showing you this is because I wanna show you how consistent Google is when they are displaying a business followed by a specific search phrase. And if we do the same thing for dumpster rental services, for example, in Las Vegas, I'm gonna show you the type of businesses that display. The number one listing is dumpster dudes and their primary service category is a dumpster rental service. Number two is roll in dumpsters and they're also a dumpster rental service. Number three is discount dumpsters and they're a waste management service. They are all dumpster rental specific services either through the primary category or through the name. There was no junk removal services being displayed here. And so that just shows you how consistent Google is displaying these businesses based on the primary service category or the name of the business. If you're a junk removal business trying to compete for dumpster rental services, you are not gonna outrank other businesses that are specific to that industry or that have an industry specific name. You can see here that if discount dumpsters might have changed their strategy and utilized the actual primary service category of dumpster rental service, they might have actually outranked rolling dumpsters, but they'll never know because they're not in the specific category. The name of their business is accurate, but it doesn't help that they're not actually labeled as a dumpster rental service in Google's eyes. So this is gonna paint a picture for you now when you take a look at your business and how you're doing your marketing. Maybe you're a dumpster rental service trying to rank for junk removal, but you notice that you're not really ranking. Well, that's because you're a primary service category of dumpster rentals and you're not under the junk removal category space. So you might be asking now, okay, so I understand now, but how do I fix this? It's pretty simple. You can actually go ahead and create a DBA under the same brand name and create a second listing under that specific category category so that your business will actually rank for that specific search phrase. I would even take it a step further and create a different website that's specific to that industry. So for example, if you have rollinddumpsters.com, now you can do rollinjunkremoval.com. Use a similar logo, use a similar brand. That way it stays consistent but you're actually under the primary service category that you wanna rank for. I know I'm throwing a lot of information at you guys, but I think that this is important for you guys to understand because this is the number one question I get. I'll have somebody come to me with a junk removal website and they wanna know how they can rank for demolition services, how they can rank for dumpster rentals, and all these other services, and it just comes down to separating everything. Of course, you don't have to listen to me and you can keep doing it this way, but I'm telling you it's gonna take you 10 times longer than it would be if you just separated everything. If you need any further assistance, assistance with this process or you have any questions or concerns, you can always reach me at 503-914-7250 or head over to junkwomanmoney.com where we have a free audit form and this will help you just understand how your business is doing overall and how it can be improved. As always guys, I appreciate you guys for watching. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I will catch you in the next video.